the aged disc. We know the disc has an annulus fibrosis outside and nucleus bulbosus inside. The outside structure of the intervertebral disc, the annulus, provides stability. With aging, there is degeneration of the disc that will alter the function of the disc. Here is a normal disc, and here there is an aging disc with loss of the disc height, distortion of the annulus fibrosis fibers, with tears in the lamina, and decreased water content of the nucleus bulbosus. So what happened with the aging disc? The water content will decrease because the glucosaminoglycan decrease, the proteoglycan decrease, the chondroitin sulfate decrease. What will increase is the keratin sulfate and you may have also collagen diameter increase and non-collagen glycoprotein increase. So, the annulus fibrosis also has water and proteoglycans. It has a high collagen and low proteoglycan ratio. It has fibroblast-like cells that makes the type 1 collagen and the proteoglycans. Bone is made first, cartilage is made later, so bone and everything attached to it has type 1 collagen and cartilage will have type 2 collagen. The things attached to the bone got to be strong like the bone, so it got to have type 1 collagen, so the annulus has type 1 collagen. The disc cells does not need oxygen to remain alive, but they need glucose, so they die at a low glucose level or acidic pH. So if you lose the nutrient blood supply through the vertebral body, that will starve the cells in the center of the disc. And that may be a major factor in disc degeneration. With aging, there is degeneration of the disc that will alter the function of the disc. The aging lead to the overall loss of water content and conversion to fibrocartilage. So really what happened with aging disc is the blood vessels and nutrition from the end plates decrease and there will be increase in matrix breakdown and there will be cracks in the end plate. More annular tears, cartilage cracks, microfractures in the end plate and tears in the nucleus pulposus. So by declining the disc nutrition, loss of the proteoglycan organization and concentration, decrease in water content, decline in cell number and in the ability to make matrix, there will be increase in degradative enzyme relative to matrix synthesis. The annulus fibrosis have the highest tensile modulus to resist torsional, axial, and tensile loads. The nucleus pulposus is a clear, watery, gelatinous matrix. With aging, the nucleus pulposus becomes more opaque, less hydrated, and firm. The disc, especially the nucleus bulbosus, becomes less gelatinous and more fibrous. And this will alter the physiologic and the mechanical function of the disc. A normal disc will have a high water content, which is bright in T2. And degenerated disc will have less water content, which is dark on T2. With increasing age, the water is lost from the matrix of the disc and the proteoglycan content also changes and decreases. It is clearly the diminished blood supply to the end plate that result in tissue breakdown that will begin in the nucleus bulbosus and lead to degeneration of the disc. 
These changes can occur early. 35% of asymptomatic patients that are less than 40 years old will have changes in their MRI, either a disc bulge, degeneration, or herniation. And 93% of patients more than 60 years old will have similar changes. In addition to arthritis of the spine, always correlate imaging with the clinical findings. On average, there is 25 to 37 percent of abnormal desk in asymptomatic subjects. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.